Okay. Um, okay, Kanina, um, in, in the first problem is a problem of impulse momentum theorem in one dimension. Now let's go to another problem. But in this case, we have a two-dimensional problem, Saka. A soccer ball has a mass of 0.40 kilograms. Initially, it is moving to the left at 20 meters per second, but then it is kicked. After the kick, it is now moving at 45 degrees upward and to the right with a speed of 30 meters per second. First, find the impulse of the net force and the average net force, assuming a collision time delta T is 0.01 seconds. So I'll be giving you maybe two minutes to solve this problem, and uh, I'll show you the solution after. Okay? Okay, um, so two minutes. Uh, so two minutes have elapsed. Let's solve this problem. So again, you have a soccer ball of mass 0.4, um, uh, sorry, 0.4 kilograms. So the mass of the soccer ball is 0.40 kilograms. And then it is moving to the left. Initial velocity is 20 meters per second. Then, But then it is kicked. After the kick, it is moving now. So this is, so V, V1, I'm assuming a coordinate system that's positive to the right. What is the initial velocity vector of the, of the um, of the soccer ball. What is the initial velocity vector of that? Ano yon, na? So you have 20 meters per second here. So this should be, um, we are assuming that it is opposite the direction of what we expect as a positive direction. So have negative 20, um, 0 0.0 meters per second I hat. So you, in that case, you just you now need to include the uh, unit vectors kasi 2D na to. Now, the V2 here, is now equal to what? It is after the kick, it is now moving at 45 degrees upward to, and to the right with speed of 30 meters per second. So this is 30 meters per second, um, 45 degrees with respect to positive x. Now, of course, um, what we want here is a vector in unit um, in unit vector form. So uh, so what we need to do is to first convert this into unit vector form. Ano yan? Ano lang yan? So this is what? Uh, this is simply, uh, this is the magnitude of V, and this is the direction, but since uh, so quadrant po naman yan, so wala tayong issue with the negatives and the positives. So we have 30 meters per second, cosine of 45 degrees I hat, plus 30 meters per second, sine of 45 degrees J hat. Tama? Tama? Ganyan lang i-represent yung vector in terms of its unit vector form. Nakuha, nakuha to. Paano nangyari yan? This is simply magnitude of V cosine theta I hat plus magnitude of V sine theta J hat. Okay? Kaya ganun siya. Okay. Now, now, the impulse, to determine the impulse, we use the momentum impulse theorem. That is J is simply delta E vector, which is simply um, uh, M um, V2 vector minus M V1 vector. This is simply M quantity V2 vector minus V1 vector. Okay, now we plug in the, value, the numbers that we have. So this means that J is simply the mass of the object is 0.40 kilograms multiplied by V2 um, is simply 30 meters per second um, cosine of 45 degrees. So, but cosine 45 degrees is just a square root of 2 over 2. I hat um, plus um, 30 meters per second square root of 2 over 2 J hat uh, minus, but they have a negative sign here. So I have a negative here of 20 meters per second I hat. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha to? So when you do that, um, I'll just use my calculator here. 0.4 times 30, uh, square root of 2 over 2. Wait lang. 0.4 times the quantity, 30, uh, square root of 2 over 2. 30 times square root of 2 over 2. Uh, uh, plus, um, plus 20, which is just equal to what? Um, this is equal to 16.5. Um, kilogram, wait lang, alam ko mayan ang unit sa yan. I hat, tapos yung isa ay, um, tanggalin ko yung 20, we have 8 plus 8.5, 8.46, J hat, quantity, kilogram, meter 
per second. That is um that is the that is our impulse G. Yan yung nakuha natin, impulse. Okay? Again, ang importante lang dito is ingat sa sign ng initial velocity. If it's negative, you need to add them. Okay? So again. Now, what about the average force? So what about the average force? So Um, I can write this as Newton second by the way. The average force is again F um J is simply F average times delta T. Um if we assume that delta T is about 0 0.01 seconds, what will happen is that the average force, the average force F average is equal to J over delta t, which is simply 16.5 i hat plus 8.46 j hat, um, bang it. all newton second divided by 0 0.01 seconds. And the answer, therefore, is that the average force exerted by the feet, uh, by the foot on the on the um, on the soccer ball is about 1650. Um, I hat plus 846 J hat quantity newtons. Malaking force you can exert sa, um, sa soccer ball. Okay? Nakuha tong problem na to. Nakuha to. Gets ba? I hope this is clear. Clear naman? Clear ito? Okay. I hope this is clear. Okay. 